Yes. Yeah, correct. Um, I don't know of an herb that is specifically the homeopathic cell salt, NAD salt, specifically makes those fluids go into the lymph better. This is the descriptions of it, which is pretty interesting. There are probably herbs that do that, but we haven't had anybody actually figure that out or say that. But, um, but uh, chickweed, um, like chickweed, a lot of herbs like undoubtedly act on that, like other kinds of things, certainly comfrey, um, a lot of things act on uh, the interstitial fluids in the matrix. Uh, so, but that chickweed is a nice combo that way. And um, I was telling Claudia Keel, New York City Herbalist, about this, and she said, oh, one of my students carry a case of psoriasis, which is hard to cure. Much harder than the eczema. I think it's like, hard not to cure the herbs. Eventually you'll get it, and foods even. But psoriasis is much harder, but she carried a case with nothing but psoriasis externally on the outbreaks. Um, so that, that's pretty interesting. So, and then finally, one more combination, because it's also an anti-spasmodic a little bit, because it relaxes the tendons, is like about 75% salmon seal and 25% ginger, because ginger is such a great muscle relaxer. So all these things are good. It just goes well in combination. And those guys who know me know I'm not a great combination formulator. But boy, this really does. Uh, um,
so it gets calcium deposits out of the tissues and calcifies the bone, so it normalizes it for that. And, uh, gravel root and corgi root by themselves can both carry frozen shoulder and frozen joints and stuff like that, but just put them all together. So, and then one more formula I was thinking of that I do use in some people treating Lyme that is teasel to the teasel, because if it's teasel so good for Lyme, but there's so much damage from Lyme disease, that the solvents are very good for Lyme. <coughs> Some people do. Yes. <laughs> says it has a healing strength not found in other oils. Yeah, it really does. Mm -hmm. George, George Washington Carver. Oh. Which is also, you know, he lived in Alabama, Tuskegee, and I was like, going to wash out where the olive oil oils are. It does wash out a little bit better yeah. than the olive oil does. I don't know about the olive oil, I haven't used that much. But it, it actually kind of feels really different on the skin. Peanut oil feels like it's penetrating, olive oil feels like it's laying on the surface. So, you know, sesame oil feels like it's penetrating, um, and it, it feels more akin to sesame oil, where olive oil feels like it just lays on top of your skin. Yeah. Right? Peanut oil feels like it went in your skin, you know, so you can actually kind of massage the skin dry. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. You know, it rubs right on the end. Uh -huh. How would you compare salmon seal to lobelia? For? For the massage, for, you know, people with knots in their backs and stuff. 
totally, totally different. I, I would say that Solomon Seal is more relaxing on the muscles and, and more, well, muscles too. I mean, you can just, it just dissolves lots of muscles, you know, that maybe lactic acid build up. It's pretty, it's pretty amazing. Sports injuries, cramps, knots, you know, it really does get on the muscle too, which is why I like it. I don't think, I think well, really is more relaxing through the nerves. Okay. It's more for torsion. Yeah, I have one of his books. Yeah, yeah if, if you'll notice in a lot of his sets, he either has lobelia or cayenne. Yeah, he was big on cayenne. He's yeah. big, really big on cayenne. He's also very big on lobelia, and a lot of times he had both of them in his okay. But they were the last little bit in the formula. Yeah, they were like, what we call this out, the potentiator in the formula. Okay. Y'all call it accelerator. He called it, called it accelerator. Tommy called it potentiator. It makes the sap or the formula work better. And directs it where you want it to go. So that would be, lobelia could be in a sale, but to potentiate the herbs in there, not as the main, okay. traditionally as sure. the main ingredient. I always wonder why it worked on people with spasms, but not with people that have, you know, overworked knots. Supervisor.